Hey boos, in this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Oh, hell no. Hi guys, it's Yanni and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to this video that you guys keep sending me on Instagram to react to and it's titled black women are losing interest in black men now this video was created by a youtuber by the name of shoe make way and at first I'm like no I'm not falling for this this is probably just another black man that's trying to pander to us black women for a come up for some money it's all about where the money resides when it comes to black women in this platform either they're bashing us or they're pandering to us but I ended up doing some research and when I conducted my research this is a black man that's on child support and his baby's mother I'm assuming is black and if he really wanted to make a come up and make a come up fast he could easily just bash us if I'm just being completely honest I mean we see it all over YouTube we see it all over social media period a man can make a come up a black man for sure can make a come up by bashing us as black women so I'm going Going to play a video that I watched of his where he was talking about how he is going to child support cord and just his whole outlook on it. It was actually very refreshing. Let's take a look. I'm on my way to child support court. Y'all say a little proud for me, man. That's all I gotta say. Hopefully everything work out. I know it's gonna work out. However, however it's supposed to go, is how it's gonna go. I'm a big believer in God and I already know whatever happened to him, I'm gonna be straight. But nevertheless, y'all say a little proud for me because it ain't, I ain't gonna lie, you know, child support court ain't no pleasant place to be. Especially when you do take care of your kids already, but you still gotta go in there and deal with all the bullshit. So before we get into today's reaction video, I just wanted to show that video first because like I said, I feel like it's easier to bash us as black women and make a come up faster than it is to pander to us and praise us. That is just my opinion because you can easily go viral as a black man for bashing us more than you can for praising us or pandering to us in a positive way. So I just wanted to throw that out there because I know I'm gonna have black men in my comment section trying to discredit him, trying to dismiss him, and in reality, this is a man that's on child support. This is a black man that's on child support. And he probably could easily bash us for a come up. So I think he's actually genuine. I believe he's genuine. So let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Black women are fed up with the narratives that black men are pushing. So they are already beginning to withdraw their interest in black men. Let me go ahead and pause it right there. Listen, it ain't even just black women. It's the exotics too. <laughs> I mean, it's it's women, period. I think we all just fed up with the BS. I'm gonna need y'all to get it together. Get it together. Because it ain't even just black women. It's women, period. The biracials, the exoticals, the preferences that you guys have seem to be fed up too. It ain't even just black women. Even on my YouTube, I posted um, a boyfriend of mine that I had. His name was Zayshawn Campbell and we broke up. A lot of people were wondering why we broke up, what happened. So I just thought I'd finally share with you guys. The guy who scammed me is named Zayshawn Stanley Campbell. Um, he was my boyfriend for a few months and he 
did scam me. So his name is Zayshan Stanley Campbell, but as you can see here, he uses so many different names and spells his name differently as a way to hide his identity. Anyhow, today I thought I'd give you guys a little background on the story with me and Zayshan, since I know a lot of you had questions and I never really um, explained what happened. You know, I just posted pictures of this guy that I was so happy to be with and I was posting like Instagram stories and then all of a sudden he was gone. You know, he had this friend named Zayshan who was in real estate development. Um, you know, that he owned like a chain of gyms in Texas. He had two daughters, real good guy, um, wasn't into anything illegal that he, you know, was into stocks, he owned some McDonald's. He had all these great things to say about Zayshan and he really thought that this would be someone that was a good match for me. So after meeting Zayshan, we were inseparable. He wanted to see me every day. We hung out a few times more before he asked me to be his girlfriend and then he started saying that he loved me, that he had never met anyone like me and that he was falling in love with me. And he would just say and do everything to try to make me feel comfortable. But keep in mind guys, he also studied me on Instagram, on social media, before meeting me. Anyways, you guys, it turned out that Zayshan Stanley Campbell is a scammer. He's a relationship scammer. He's a con artist. He's a liar. He's a sociopath. He's a psychopath. And I don't know how I came across a human like this. I just wanted to throw that out there because, you know, you know, I see the trend, I see the pattern here. So it's not even just black women. It's exoticals, it's biracials, it's preferences that you guys claim that you have. They seem to have an issue with you guys too. It's not just us, but you know. We are in a state of emergency. <laughs> black men, y'all better stay woke. Mm. It's going down. And I guarantee you, a lot of y'all ain't even seeing the signs of what's about to happen. For the guys that's overhyping interracial dating, <laughs> y'all in trouble. They don't like y'all either. <laughs> really, all of us, all of us in trouble. But y'all. And let me just add, it don't have nothing to do with your skin, sir. That ain't gonna fly over here. It got everything to do with your poor behavior. It has everything to do with your poor behavior. You acting out because of your trauma. It has nothing to do with the fact that you're a black man. Because y'all love to use that. Well, I'm a black man. And I mean, everyone hates me. Listen, your behavior is trash. Collectively speaking. It's trash. And if you have an issue with me saying collectively, maybe if the other black men out here that's doing what they're supposed to do if you held other black men in your social group accountable y'all wouldn't look so bad i'm just being real i'm just i'm just keeping it a buck i'm keeping it all the way real i'm keeping it all the way a stack and with me saying that it just means you don't hold other men in your social group accountable so yeah they make you all look bad that's not my problem black women are performing because we hold each other accountable for our actions for the things that we do i recently saw a TikTok video and I'm gonna post it here. I talked to somebody for three years and he never wanted a relationship. Yay! I was dating this boy, found out he was talking to another girl and continued to stay with him. Yay! Uh so I was crying for a relationship that I didn't even want back. Yay! Um I continued to talk to somebody after they sent me off a million times. I got played by somebody that wanted me first. Ah! I be having sex just because I want to feel love. Yeah. I was talking to somebody that I knew was fucking other bitches and it was sad when I found out about it. Yeah. I was freaking somebody for a long time that I wanted a relationship with and they didn't want one with me. Yeah. I was talking to somebody that broke up with me to talk to my best friend from elementary school. That boy said it should have been your baby. <laughs> Black women are now taking accountability for our actions. So we're leveling up. And you guys are standing in the same spot. Why is that? 
are definitely causing problems for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show y'all a couple videos, right? Because I got a point that I want to make. It's important to y'all need to see this. Y'all need to hear this information. What video is this? And uh, the black women, y'all going to enjoy this video. I guarantee you're going to enjoy it. So y'all just sit back and uh, let me show my brothers this information that is going to bust they motherfucking head. <laughs> yes. If you oh. white girl yes. and you get attention to, from black guys, everyone plays this video. And all the other white girls that I know, we all think that getting attention from black guys gives you a status of some sort. If you get attention from the white guys, no, you uh, do have the status more than if you get attention from black guys. As a man, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with that. Well, as a woman who gets attention, as a man, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with that. Nigga, you ain't got a leg to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> how you going to tell a white woman how her culture look at her? Y'all in denial. Delusional. In your face that you are not the prize. You are not as desirable as you think you are. But you in denial. And, oh, I'm going to have to disagree with that. You make yourself look like a motherfucking scrub on <laughs> on the internet for the world to see you. Get your damn feelings hurt. <laughs> That's pathetic. <laughs> it's fucking pathetic. <laughs> It's low self-esteem. Yes. And who grew up in a white culture more than a black culture, yes. I'm going to tell you that getting attention from black guys is not a badge of honor if you're white. Okay. And I'm white. You are white. Yes. But like white getting, is, if a white girl gets attention from a white guy, that's more yes. valuable in white culture than if she gets attention from a black guy. If she gets attention from a black guy, that's not a, that doesn't make you a better anything like that doesn't raise you in anybody's eyes as a matter of fact in some people's eyes it does as a matter of fact it's, it's a little bit of a the only people that look at that like it's a something that's a status symbol type situation are black men other guys that think like you mm. the majority of black culture does not look at a man a black man with a white woman and say he got his shit together i want to be like him only guys that look at things like you look at that you in that. Just a little FYI. Like, uh, oh, you know, she's basically not good enough for the white, so she's good for the black guys. That's how it's looked at it. So as you see, y'all, uh, for the guys that be in the comment section saying that, uh, that's not my experience. Okay, that's not <laughs> be your experience, brother, but... Or maybe it's just not your experience because you're comfortable with them thinking that on the low or behind your back. Have you asked? And a lot of you guys are afraid to ask. Maybe you should ask and see what their answer would be. See what their responses would be. It's a popular opinion in white culture for black men to be looked at as something that you don't want to be fucked up. Nope. As if you didn't know that already. I guess you thought you was just special. <laughs> you was better than the other blacks. And you were able to accomplish things that most black people can't accomplish. You were able to get you a white woman that is submissive and all that other shit. <laughs> and, you know, the funny thing about this entire situation is, like, other women don't see black men as valuable until they're like an athlete um a rapper a singer an actor it's like you guys don't get the approval from them until you reach a certain threshold and i don't think black men understand that and it's really sad because it's like if these things are taking away from you say you no longer get gigs for your acting career then what? Who are you? A man that they don't respect. A man that they don't see as valuable. And it's just that simple. It's just that simple. And it's not to be mean. It's just the truth. It's reality. This is why a lot of men put their value, their self-esteem, their self-confidence in the things that they have. 
not who they are, not simply who they are, but for the things that they have, for the things that they accomplish. And we as black women, at one point we're doing that, but we're learning to step more into our femininity and we're kind of taking our achievements and we're putting them in our back pockets and we're only bringing them out and bringing them to the surface or the forefront when it's asked of us. We're not just offering it anymore. And where does that place the black man? I think that's what he's getting at. It's like, where, where does that place the black man? Because if a black man is not performing <laughs> at this point, no woman is going to want you. And bare minimum is just no longer acceptable for not only black women, but other women as well. Because they're starting to see a pattern with you guys as well. That, oh, you think because you're praised and you're placed on a pedestal for being a black man, you think that that means something. But to them, it doesn't mean anything because they weren't raised to believe that. They were raised to believe that the only way a man can be seen as valuable is by being a provider, by doing what he's supposed to do not just because he's black, not just because he has good sex. So black men feel like just because they have good sex that <laughs> that makes some type of lead way when in reality, everyone is catching on and it's not even just black women. Every ethnicity, every race of woman is catching on to this. And so it's just like, it's bare minimum. It's like, come on, it's unacceptable. Listen, man, I, like I tell you, I don't care who you date. I have friends and family that have dated outside the race. Mm, same here. So it ain't about that. Nope. It's about this attitude that you are the prize and uh, all other cultures look at us in high regard like <laughs> I just have to get a black man. Mm. That's not the reality of most of these women. Most women prefer to marry their own culture. Are there some that are open to marrying outside of their culture? Hell yeah. Yes, of course. Is. Because there are some people that see their lives as their own and they see themselves as individuals and they decide to go their own way. So are there white women that will definitely love and honor a black man? Yes. Of course. Are. Same thing for every other culture. But Stop walking around with your chest poked out. <laughs> like you the shit. Because you actually ain't. And I'm finna get ready to show you. Prime time example. What he about to show I'm us? Ready to bust it wide open. Ooh. And show y'all who the prize really is in our culture. Ooh. Y'all put on y'all seatbelts. There's I mean, statistics on interracial marriage and divorce, and it's actually kind of interesting. We already knew this. A white man with a black woman has half the divorce rate of a white man with a white woman. And interestingly enough, if you reverse the genders and you put a black man with a white woman, they have twice the divorce rate of a white couple or a black couple. I mean, it's, it, I think they apply either way. Yeah. <laughs> That's a white man telling y'all. That statistically speaking, a white man and a black man, I mean a white man and a black woman, have a more success, a higher success rate when it comes to marriage mm. than all the other groups. White, white men with white women included. A white man with a white woman has a higher divorce rate than a white man with a black woman. Mm. And when black men and white women get together, the divorce rate goes up higher than what it would be if a white man and a white woman got together or a black woman and a black man got together so and recently with all of these celebrities and their exoticals and their preferences we've been seeing a trend prime example would be dr dre his wife i mean his entire situation is crazy but let's remember he shitted on a black woman he abused her and he also abandoned his black daughter. So, I mean, we've been seeing this as black women. We've, we've been seeing this. I mean, I appreciate the validation, but at the same time, it's like, I didn't need it because the truth always comes to light. That's why I love it so much is because the truth will never fail you. The truth is something that 
will always be this thing that will save you from delusion because it's just gonna come in and it's just gonna smack you right in the face so I don't feel like this man is pandering because again he's bringing up factual information in this video and he's using a white woman and a white man to do that so I don't feel like this is pandering at all it's just the truth truth have some some serum truth serum because it's just the truth statistics don't lie and it is what it is this entire situation is going to get black men to perform because it's not even just again it's not just us that's fed up with you guys like it's other races of women as well you guys are just not performing and not domestically not business wise not in your communities i mean you just you guys are just not performing it's just flat out laziness at this point and it's really sad and it's not even this is not even coming from a place of being bashful being negative trying to tear the black man down hopefully like this motivates you to do better perform you know like because at this point you are the least desirable at this point because now all of these exoticals and all of these preferences that you guys have placed on a pedestal they don't even want to date you anymore just because they don't want to deal with your bs the same thing that we as black women didn't want to deal with so now you guys have lost us collectively it's no longer black women are losing interest a lot of us have lost interest because we don't want to deal with the trauma we don't want to deal with it because nowadays it's more likely for a black woman to date a black man and she would experience some form of trauma just like all of these biracials exoticals and preferences they all going through trauma divorces and all type of stuff so why would we want to date you guys it just doesn't make sense if you guys are not doing what you need to do as a man it just doesn't make any sense I know I'm going to get comments in the comment section, but at the end of the day, when you acknowledge the truth for what it is, especially when it comes in this form and it requires you to actually do work, of course you're going to deny it because then that means you have to change some things about yourself, which requires work, which last I checked, collectively speaking, black men are lazy and it statistically shows that you guys are the least educated. You guys don't start businesses. You guys don't build up your communities. So, I mean, statistics back up what he's saying. So this is not surprising to me at all. If you guys were more concerned about improving your communities, going to school and starting businesses over how many women you can fuck, maybe you guys wouldn't even be in this situation. But you guys are more concerned about looking good, buying materialism, having sex with as many women as you feel like you can. And now <laughs> you guys are not even performing. And it's sad. It's really sad. Statistically speaking, mm. black men with white women are the worst category to be in. Woo! Um, so it's interesting that if you just reverse and and uh, put a black man with a white woman versus a white man with a black woman, they actually like the the divorce statistics they're four hundred four hundred percent more likely to get divorced. Um, and they say that's because, and I'm I'm just putting this shit out there. I'm not making it up. Like you can. I just want to give y'all a little heads up. <laughs> This man about to say something <laughs> that if you are proudful, a prideful black man is going to piss you the fuck off. But you need this truth. But according to the statistics, there might be something to it. Google it or duck, duck, go because uh, I don't support Google. But um, they say it's because in the white, in the white culture, uh, White men are the, more, the stronger of the two genders, and in the black culture, the black women are the stronger of the two genders. And so, when you get Ooh. them together, they're just more likely to succeed. They probably um, overcome more to be together. Uh, if they're in an area where there's issues with interracial dating, um, so all right, that's, that's I never just, looked at it like that. But oh my gosh, that's, that's so true. Like, there's just less shit to deal with when you're, when you're dating a black girl. Woo! Nah. <laughs> that don't piece you the fuck 
fuck off. It pissed me the wow. fuck off. Wow. Not the fact that this white man said that. It pissed me the fuck off that there's actually truth to it, bro. Yes. How is it that a white man can see more value in our women Wow. than we see in our women? And it's statistically proven. Chasing his woman, chasing <laughs> white women. While this man clearly feels that our women are, are the, the best choice for him. Choice. Wow. That's ironic as hell, ain't it? That's crazy. <laughs> man, if y'all boys don't get y'all shit together, it's, it's gonna get ugly for us, bro. If this don't put a little chip on your shoulder, sis, I don't know what will. I mean, this is just amazing. But we already knew this. But, like, to hear it and then to hear it come from a white woman and then to hear it come from a white man and a black man, sis. Sis, if you don't think you popping, something is seriously wrong with you. Oh, my gosh. And then it's backed up statistically. Listen, I know for sure I'm going to have delusional black men in my comment section. But listen, the truth is the truth, honey. The truth is the truth, honey. It's the truth. Bruh, it's about to get real fucking ugly for us. Mm. I'm about to make a couple predictions for y'all. It's already getting ugly. Soon and very soon. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to happen. I can't see the future. I just know that the writing is on the wall. It's it's too late, you guys. It's, it's too late. Beginning. It's too late for black men. I, I honestly feel black like that. Women it's too late. Are fed up with the narratives that black men are pushing. It's too late. So they are already beginning to withdraw their interest in black men. They're already getting to the point where they believe that there's no hope for us. In a little bit, and it's like I said, it's already happening. Black women are going to begin to pair up with white men at a, a higher rate than they already have. Mm. It's going to be Why? so divided. Because they want stability. They want a loving relationship. They want happiness. They want somebody. We want happy. peace. Peace. It appears that white men are willing to do that. Mm. While y'all out here chasing behind women that really don't see you as a status symbol. And <laughs> uh, we don't have to work if we don't want to. This man, this white man, know he can come home, get a home-cooked meal. He know he can come home to a home, a well-kept home at that. You get what I'm saying? He know we clean, too. You get what I'm saying? Y'all took all of that for granted. So... It's not even black women are starting to. Like, we've already left. And if you don't think we have, you're in complete delusion at this point. You're in complete delusion. I never thought ever in my life I would ever download a dating app <laughs> and literally leave it completely open to all races of men. I've never done that, ever. But in 2019, I made that a thing on all of my dating apps all of them so it's not even just me like it's everyone everyone literally all of my friends all of my girlfriends i even have black women that are like sexually fluid i have friends like that and they date other women other races of women it's just like we are not putting ourselves in a box and we're not limiting ourselves to just one category and it's like why should we do that if we're really the prize we wouldn't do that because we could definitely get a better option. So basically, black men are going to have to get off the couch and perform. Start some businesses, finish school, stop walking around feeling like you're the prize just because you black and you got a degree. That don't mean anything. If you're not actually out here performing in your community, if you're not actually competing against other races of men instead of trying to compete with us. And, you know, it's weird because even here on YouTube, you got black men out here competing with other black women and black women creators. It's pathetic. Why not compete with other 
white YouTubers. I mean, they have podcasts and all types of stuff. But the only way you can do that is when you bash us. That's the only way you can really compete with your white counterparts. But what you don't understand is a white man doesn't have to bash his own race of woman. And a white man doesn't have to bash his own culture in order to make money. You do. In order for you to even be able to compete, you do. That's pathetic. That's actually really sad. So it's even funny to see it on YouTube. Like even now, I think it's funny to see all of these black men trying to get a come up on YouTube by bashing us. When in reality, white men know the truth because the truth, it shows in our statistics. So I think it's funny. This is why when it comes to like black women, it's like, girl, why do you care? You know what the truth is. You know what the truth holds. You know where the truth can get you. You know the truth is fulfilling. You know the truth is successful. You know the truth is happiness. You know the truth is just bliss. So why do you feed into something that's not true? Because black men are highly delusional. And when I say black men, I'm speaking collectively. You guys are delusional as hell. Delusional as hell. And it's the ones that think like this. It's the ones that really put white women on a pedestal. It's the ones that really think that they're the prize because they're black. <laughs> because you got a degree. Like, listen, white men got degrees. White men are improving their communities. White men have money. White men have old money. I just wouldn't even go that route. You get what I'm saying? So... <sighs> I don't know what to tell you guys. I really don't. Well, they don't see you as being a valuable person to be with. Mm. As a matter of fact, their stock goes down when they get involved with you, in most cases. Wow. I didn't even know that. And these, these women tend to not be able to return back to the white dating pool as easily once they've been with a black man, especially if they have biracial kids. Nope. So it's kind of like... Once a white woman goes black, she got to stay black. Mm-hmm. So, that's what's about to happen. White men are about to be capitalizing on the cream of the crop of our women. Because they look around and they can't find black men to pair up with and live that American dream. <sighs> and y'all already know that once black women start a movement... And that shit catch on. It's a rap, honey. It's a rap. It's a rap, honey. We control the cool. We control everything. I know you think that black men do. Oh, you didn't think? Oh. Black men. Black. We control everything. If you didn't know that, you know that now. We control everything. But that's our power as black women. We have influence. And if you don't know anything about influence, you need to look that up in the dictionary. Influence holds a lot of weight. It's comparable to money. Currency. Uh, if we're taking on this movement today out of our race, what do you think these other women gonna be doing? <laughs> what do you think these preferences that you have gonna be doing? You think they gonna be dating you? Uh, no, they love to copy what we do. Even though you claim we copy them, they really copy us. And you guys are about to see what the black woman's influence can really do. And when we start movements, everybody follows us. Listen, all of this is stuff that I already know about. But to hear it come from a black man, it's just like, yeah. So he worried because he like, well, dang, who am I going to get with? In order for an artist to, to, to become uber successful like Drake, men have to want to be you. Mm. And the women have to want to sleep with you. Same thing for the black women. Nicki Minaj. She is the, the biggest female artist or has been for the longest because women have wanted to be her and men wanted to have sex with her. So, obviously, black women are looked at in very high regard. We always have been. And everything else. That's fact. White women and other women of other cultures spend a lot of fucking money to a look lot. Like black women. Mm. And have you seen black women's body? Who wouldn't want to sleep with a black woman? <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get real ugly for us, y'all. I'm telling you, it's coming. So, my other prediction is, in the next couple years, you will see me go live on YouTube 
and I will be getting married to a black woman because I refuse to be left holding my nuts at the end of this damn game of musical chairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He said, let me go get me a black girl. Let me go ahead and get me a black woman. Facts. I will not be a part of that crew. <laughs> you guys will be left to your own devices. <laughs> and that's just keeping it real, bro. Wow. Go ahead and lock me one of these successful black women down. I've been working on myself. Oh. For a long time. I've been working on getting my shit together, Ooh. getting my credit right, getting my income right, growing business and all that. Ooh. Other. I've been proving to myself that I'm a man and I'm the kind of man that I want to be. I've been doing self-improvement. I've been in the gym. I've been getting my shit together. Not for women, for mm. myself. Ooh. But it just so happens that the shit I've been investing in to myself is something that high-value women appreciate. So, in the next couple of years, I will be settling down with a high-quality black woman. Okay. And I want to pray for the rest of you guys. Because <laughs> it's about to get ugly for me. <laughs> man, I'm going to cut the video off right here, man. If you ain't already did it, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, and I will see y'all on the next one. Wow, 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 wow. I don't even know what to say. I mean, I will say this. It sounds good. But like I said, I did research on him, and he really has the option to bash us to make a come up. And I will just take it as this. This is appreciated, but at the end of the day, I don't feel like it needs to be praised. I don't feel like anything that a man does or says needs to be praised above myself. But I do appreciate videos like this. I do appreciate statistics that are highlighted like this because it's just the truth. Basically, my opinion is just this. The truth hurts sometimes. And black men, you guys need to step it up. I believe you have the abilities to do it. Will you do it? It's all about choices. And I'm not about to sit around and wait on you to choose to perform and do better and start businesses, go to school and actually be something, make something of yourself instead of just giving in to the hype of just being a black man but not doing anything in your community. I'm not tolerating that. I'm not condoning that. That's not doing anything. I only want to show appreciation to men who speak the truth like this, men who are actually doing the internal work, healing their trauma, bettering themselves for themselves, not putting their identity and their self-love and self-confidence in materialism, but actually valuing themselves in a way that would even be beneficial to a woman, period. I appreciate men like this. I respect men like this that are just honest, truthful. I wouldn't praise a man at all, but I do appreciate truth like this. That's my opinion. Would I support him because of this? No, I wouldn't. Mm -mm. I feel like majority of his audience should be black men. Even with him speaking or directing a lot of his commentary towards us, just because, I don't know, we've seen this before. We've seen a black man pander to us online and you know, it's fake. Just like Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey, there's a rumor going around that their whole relationship is fake and it's fake because Michael B. Jordan is trying to pander to us as black women for a movie role, yeah. So at this point, I'm gonna support other black women, but am I supporting a black man socially that I don't know on a personal level? To be on the safe side, because black women have been burned in the past? No, but I do appreciate his commentary. So that's all that I have regarding today's video. I would love your thoughts and opinions, so make sure you comment them down below. And if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified for when I upload. This is Real with Yanni, and I will see you guys in my next video.